Hi guys. I would like to show you how to rag roll your hair. Now, when we were little girls, my grandma used to rag roll our hair. We had really long hair. Our dad never wanted us to cut our hair. And what she would do is she would take terry cloth, like a terry cloth towel, and rip it in strips and roll our hair so it would be curly. So that's what we're going to do today. And you can come along and I'll show you how to rag roll my hair. I'll tell you, um, I really was attached to my grandma. She lives in heaven now, which I'm sure a lot of your grandmas do. But I remember things like that in great detail, you know, um, hanging out with grandma. And even as we got older, when she was in hospice, I got to spend her last three months with her. And we would go to her room. It was like an apartment. And I'd rag roll her hair. I got some photos that I'll add to the end of this. And that reminds me, uh, one of my fellow YouTubers, she tells a lot of stories about her family and growing up in Mississippi. And her channel name is her name, Glenda Sully. And if you don't know her, which I think you might already know her, I've seen some of my fellow YouTubers commenting on her channel. I'm going to send you over to check her out. She'll be linked below. But she tells stories in great detail. I don't know if you can see this. I'll slide down a little bit more. There we go. <laughs> you just put it right about here. But what I like to do is do it with dry hair. I think that's the secret. And add something to it. Whether it be a little bit of conditioner with water in your hand. That's what Grandma used to do. She used to put a little bit of hair conditioner in her hand. Put a little water with it and rub it and put it in like lotion on the ends. Not so much close to the roots because you want it to dry and dry quickly. But I'm going to use this styler. It's called Red Apples and Berry by Not Your Mothers. I like this product. It smells delicious. And uh, it is a lock-in style and it kind of helps you between shampoos. But it smells really good. But I love listening to Glenda's stories. Her daughter recently had her, uh, her a second grandbaby. And uh, she was doing this video of making her daughter's, um, you just put a little bit in. And sometimes I just do it as I go. Now, there can be a method to your madness, like a way that you might want to roll. And these rollers you can purchase. They're, I would say, a, a foam rubber like you would find in your bed with a wrapped soft terry cloth. And it kind of gives you cushion. You can sleep on these rollers, but put it towards the middle and then wrap around the ends like so. And then it has a metal clip, like a, looks like a hanger on the inside. And you just twist it closed up like that. And she, what really, the one I'm going to link below is her crystals that she made her daughter for her wedding. It reminded me when my mom had made my bouquet. And it also reminded me of um, how my mom would make uh, jewelry for us out of my grandma's old jewelry. And I wanted to show you this one necklace that she was going to work on my grandma had given her before she went to heaven and my mom didn't get a chance to do it and I got to be with her her last year of life I actually stayed with her so I'm going to shine it up a little and uh, the string is pretty on its, on its own you know it's got the old clip on it but these are Australian crystals and how you can tell a crystal is you hold it up to your cheek and it'll feel cold like ice cubes. That's how you can tell, like if you're out yard selling, pick these up. But what I thought Glenda could do, because she's crafty, um, she does cooking, tells a lot of 
uh, history, stories, just real interesting information that I just enjoy. It's like sitting around and chatting with my aunts is what it reminds me of. But I'm going to send this to her and she can either keep it as a necklace for herself. Isn't that gorgeous? Wouldn't this be beautiful out to a specialty, you know, get together or maybe a nice dinner? Or she could break it apart and uh, make something for her new granddaughter. You know, she's been making her little um, poof poof dresses. It reminds me so much of um, when my little girl was a, little, was a baby and a little girl. How she was the first and only granddaughter. And uh, so a lot of her story is so familiar to me. It sounds so much like she could be part of my family. I really enjoy her channel. I want you to check her out. But I'm going to send this to you, Miss Glenda, my fellow YouTuber. If you don't mind, I've got an email address. If if you want it and you want to do this, send me your um, address and I'll mail this out to you. Isn't it just lovely? I have it in one of my videos on my other channel. Uh, I use it as a prop because it's just so so beautiful. And I wear my mother's necklace, and I don't like to get it tangled. And this is real heavy and sturdy. But you can wear it like this, or you could break it apart and make her a little bracelet. Or uh, her a necklace, or maybe, you know, put it, apply some of these. My mom used to call these ones in between. She had used silver beads on her daughter's bouquet for her wedding. Well, the in-betweens on this, my mom used to call the angel bead. And I wish I could get it up close. I might take a picture of it and then show you at the end of the video. But um, she called them angel beads because they would guard each one of the beads, is what she said. So I'm going to send that to you. Send me your email address. Send me your address through my email. And uh, if you have the capability of doing that. And I'll, I'll smell these out. And it'll be like a part of my celebration for reaching 1,000. So I'm in the 1,000 club, and I couldn't be happier. I'm pretty excited about that. I'll tell you my first excitement was when I hit 100. To me, that was like really hitting the big time. I had, uh, out of the 100, I'm sure I had some dead accounts. I had 60 people that would listen to me, listen to my story. And what I like about Glenda so much is um we can laugh about it now some of the situations and scenarios she's been in is plum funny and i know um maybe at, not at the time it was always funny but now we can laugh about it as we look back and there is one time i remember my grandma she loved her car her car was her life and she took turns living with her girls about five years each and I got her like my first five years of life and she used to sleep with me yes we slept together and my mom needed the help um, she just did she had had my sister and she needed some assistance and my grandmother moved in and stayed with us and those were just I can just remember um, getting up with her she was a prayer warrior and uh, I got up with her in the morning while everybody was still in bed, and I would pray with her or listen to her pray, and she would pray for all the kids in the family and her four daughters. You could hear her say their names and what she was praying for, and then God would, to God, bless them, and we would have hot tea and uh, toast, sugar toast in the morning, so... That's why I enjoy Glenda so much, is she just reminds me of back um, in my childhood when I was just really uh, enjoying life, you know, enjoying my grandma and the love that she gave me, all the hugs, and then it made me think of rag rolling my hair, and it made me remember that they were going to strand these beads for me, but we just didn't get to it. So I would like to pass on the blessing. Now, don't think this is the only one I got. I have got so much of this jewelry because my mom, that's what she would do. She would take my grandmother's beads and she would make us girls jewelry with it. And uh, so I have other things like this to remember. But this one here 
never got to go that second step. Now, keep in mind, Miss Glenda, you can keep it the way you want. You know, if you want to keep it one strand, that's fine. Or you're welcome to break this apart and share it amongst many. That's what my mom used to do for us. And uh, it was her little crafty time. She was a crafty person, too. So, uh, I'm going to finish rolling this hair. And then what I like to do is I sit in the sun. And it just gives it that little extra dry. Or you could take a blow dryer to it. Or you could just sleep in them overnight. You know, you'll have to test it and see how long it takes for your hair to curl. But this is a a better way for your hair not to get it too dried out, you know, by um, using, you know, different types of chemicals. And it's the old school. This is the old way we do it. Now, you'd want the curls to go in the direction, you know, that you desire. But I've done this so long, I can do this without a mirror. See how fast I can go? And it's uh, just something we've always done. And I can't wait for you to see how beautiful my grandma was. Now, her girls used to have real long hair like this. Probably longer than mine. I think it reached her butt. And she thought um, her strength was in her hair. But her girls talked her into getting it cut when she got retired and older in life. And uh, she still used rags. Yes, she did. And she'd rag her hair and then tease it and spray it. But I appreciate you guys much. Go check out Glenda. You are going to enjoy her. If you don't already. If you don't already know her. You're going to enjoy her stories and how she can laugh about them now. And, uh, that's the good part. We can laugh about it now. Now, see how these two are crazy? You can stick another roller on them, or don't think that, um, you can't redo it. Just go like this right in the middle. I better go a little slower. I'm going to show you one just a little slower. Let's pick one up front. Boy, I don't got much hair up here, uh, guys and girls. I got some more videos coming, uh, just so you know, I'm waiting for Noah to get home. I've got a cooking one coming up. We're going to try that sweet potato, see if uh, curing it turns sweet, how our, our garden tastes. And I've got another, another video coming up because Noah won a giveaway. Yes, he did. And I'm waiting for him to get home from school. I got it in the mail. And I'm going to show him the video where I had entered him to win. And um, them calling out from fishing and stuff, he won a flashlight. And uh, you can see a little bit more about what that is. Alright, did you guys see that? I'm going to do it again. Pick up some hair. The thicker, the bigger the curl. The thinner, the smaller the curl. Take it towards the middle. And here's the key. Just wrap it around. See, there's no trouble there. And then when you get to the ends, just hold them down like this and roll towards your head. Just like that. Now, if this was a rag, you tie it in a little loose uh, knot. A little loose tie. But I suggest these if you can get them. I appreciate you guys for watching. Just a quick little video to tell you about um, rag rolling. And I'm going to put some pictures and then at the end you'll get to see my hair. Thank you so much. Bear with me. I'll be back with you. It'll take me a little bit. <laughs>